It's Glory's compliment for the lead maker, second. T. Cody, third. Around the first turn. And Glory's Common and Campbell to the lead. Moneymaker, second. Then it's T. Cody, third. A length and a half. With super high test, fourth by two. Village Beretta, fifth and two more. Party, party. Then by the quarter and Glory's Common leads it by two and a half, three over Moneymaker. Opening quarter, 27 and 4. Glory's Comet there, length. Moneymaker content to sit second. That's T. Cody, third. Super high test, fourth by two. Then Village Beretta and Party Party. Continue down the back stretch and Glory's Comet. Going easily here by a length and a half. Moneymaker in the two hole. T. Cody, third. Super high test, fourth and Village Beretta. F, 58 and 3. Slow fraction. With Moneymaker second, the first to pull Super High Test. Village Beretta fourth, and it's T. Cody fifth. Two to Party Party. They're about three quarters. In the end, it's still Glory's Comet. Moneymaker. Stalking those two. Three quarters, 127 and four, and they're in the stretch. Glory's Comet. With super high test. Triangle out on the far outside. Moneymaker trying to make her late charge. It's Glory's Comet. Super high test. Glory's Comet. Wire to wire. 154. Glory's Comet. Second number one, Moneymaker. And third number five, Super High Test. In the winner's circle, Glory's Comet selected by Bob Hollywood Hayden. Seven with Big Gilder by Balanced Image. Trained by Doug Berkeley, driven to victory by John Campbell. Winning the Nat Ray Elimination, number one. Congratulations to Marie Sudol winning our horse for horse tonight. She picked Glory's Comet over Moneymaker. Coming into the race, you know, Moneymaker's one of the horses to beat. Tell us about your strategy entering the race. Well, I actually just wanted to leave the gate and hopefully get to follow her, but uh, she ended up following me, and uh, I think the key to the race was obviously the second quarter. Uh, it was, you know, very slow, and uh, this horse, when he gets to rest, rest like that uh, in the middle half, he's very tough to beat. Sprint was on top of the stress. Tell us what you were thinking. A super high test mounted a pretty good challenge. Yeah, my horse felt strong around the turn, and, uh, and when he's on the front and, been, and hasn't been he'll shot right down to the wire, so I felt uh, confident about... Uh, Super high test. I was more concerned with Moneymaker getting room and, uh, and having trot. And uh, Comet sprinting home at 26. So tell us about your chances in the final. Well, that's going to depend on the draw. And I think Moneymaker is definitely the one to, <coughs> one to beat. It's her first start in, uh, in quite a while. And uh, she's just getting acclimated being back in this country again. I, I don't think there's any question she's the one to beat next week. Give us some Muscles Yankee uh, update tomorrow night. Uh, how's the, uh, what's the prognosis? Well, no update, just this, the same. Uh, you know, I hope as he's, he's as good as he was last week and, or even a little bit better. I guess he's going to have to be with the 10 hole. And uh, you know, he's, he's done everything we've asked of him so far, but it, it's going to get tougher from here on in. Okay, good luck to John Campbell tomorrow night in the Budweiser Beacon Course. Congratulations to winning the first Nat Ray elimination.